Hi guys, welcome to Max Tutorials, and yeah, today I'm gonna show you another trick in Unity 3D, which is the planar gravity. Uh, so I have created this uh, scene just by using some free assets from the Assist Store, and uh, I have uh, used just to write one script, which is the planar script gravity script as you can see we have here a big planet that uh, grab some other little planets to it so yeah let's get started so first thing we're gonna do is to create a new project and name it whatever you want and uh, we need some free assets so we go to the asset store and we search in the search bar we write poly planet as you can see it's a free asset uh, you download it and just import it to the unity editor and uh, yeah so we go to the project and we create new C sharp script which is planar gravity script and set up our scene so we go to the planets folder and we go to lighting you can grab this window from window lighting and settings it's easy okay so we go to the planets folder and materials and we grab the stars material the skybox material and that it's normal because uh, this material is not is not the skybox material okay so drag the light and I'm going to change the environment reflection or just make it as you want okay so yeah we go to models now and we grab one of these models and I'm gonna select this model and I'm gonna scale it Um, change the camera view maybe like this okay and we grab just drop on the planet gonna select this this is good okay Gonna scale it again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's just move it. Okay. Um, we, you can select all the models and go to rig animation type change it to none uh, why I have to do that because uh, just to change uh, just to remove the animated component from the models just wait Okay, as you can see, we don't have the animator component. Now, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna add a mesh collider to the Egypt planet and don't make it convex. Now, go to the Hawaii planet 
and make it convex. And if I change things zero, okay. And now we need to add rigid body, go phase this rigid body. And yeah, so yeah, that's it. Now let's test it out what we have here is this but we have a problem the planet falls down as you can see so that's problem so we're gonna fix this by scripting we open the planner and gravity with mon develop Okay, so we go over here, we create a new variable, public, uh, transform, planet, target, and another public variable, type float, we name it uh, force amount, which is the new gravity force amount, Another public float. Um, gravity radius. Equal to um, 10, for example. And the force amount equal to 100. And we need... Um, not yet, okay. So we need to set the gravity of the world space equal to zero. So what we're gonna do is go to the start void physics dot gravity equal to vector three dot zero. Okay, so we go now to the void update or the update function. So we create a float variable distance, which is the distance between the small planet and the big planet or the planet target. Okay, equal to vector three dot distance between transform dot position and planet target or you can use this uh, method which is vector 3 um, or like this transform the position uh, and planet target dot position the brax dot magnitude okay so this you can name it as a vector 3 variable dot magnitude which is the length the length sorry between the two vectors okay I'm gonna just use vector 3 dot distance so I'm gonna delete this and we go down and we're gonna write um, I'm gonna create another variable which is vector 3 variable target direction so target direction equal to transform dot position and plan target dot position okay okay so target direction equal to target direction dot normalized so 
tar uh, target direction dot normalize always return um, the magnitude of the vector uh, with the value one. Okay, so so yeah. Now we need to require a component which is the rigid body require component type of rigid body and we're gonna create an if statement if distance is smaller than radius okay so we're gonna type um, the component dot add force um, target direction dot uh, sorry times gravity um, Sorry, force amount times time dot delta time. Okay. Now our script is ready, but we're gonna debug a few things using on Gizmos drop void or function void in C sharp and function in JavaScript. If you know to translate it to JavaScript, you get the right function, okay? Anyway, so we have create another variable public color um, gizmos color equal to color dot thread, for example. Whatever you want. So gizmos dot color equal to gizmos color and gizmos with the radius of um, planet or gravity radius and yeah that's cool now let's go to unity check if you have errors come on Okay, have errors. <laughs> Twenty one, the best of Twenty one, twenty one. Oh, yeah, uh, the position. Okay, we are ready now. What we're going to do is to add the planar gravity script to the little planet, not the big planet, okay? So we we'll add it over here and track the planet we want, enable the gizmos. Well, there is some problem. Okay, just a minute, guys. Okay, guys, the, we should name the Gizmos void on 
draw gizmos, not on gizmos draw. Mm. Okay, so Okay, that's pretty cool. Now we're going to decrease the radius and just a minute. Okay. That's cool now. As you can see, nothing happened because the distance between uh, the big planet and the little planet is uh, bigger than the radius. Okay. So we're going to increase it a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh, what happened? Okay. Okay, the problem is here. Uh, we just need to do that, okay? That's why the, there is inflection the movement we have a gravity ha 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 okay so So, thanks guys for watching this episode, I, I hope you like it, and goodbye.